It's Thursday evening of Holy Week. It's the night of betrayal. That night, Jesus had the Passover meal in the upper room with his disciples. That Passover meal celebrated God's miraculous gift of passing over the doors and homes of each and every Israelite in Egypt because they had applied the blood of the lamb to the doorposts and God passed over and spared their lives. Within 24 hours, they would be set free from Egypt. Jesus tonight, Thursday night of Holy Week, would declare that he would become that lamb whose blood if applied to the doorposts of our heart would set us free. But it was on this night in which Jesus would be betrayed. You know, we always want to find someone to blame. It's got to be somebody's fault and it's got to be somebody else's fault as to when something goes wrong, something we don't like happens, we need to find blame. And on this night, it's not too difficult to place all the blame on Judas Iscariot. Judas, later on that evening, would betray Jesus with a kiss in the garden. But I, I want to I talk to you about another couple of people that might have some blame. What about the sons of Zebedee? Remember them? The sons of Thunder, James and John. Yeah, maybe, maybe they have a little bit to blame and you know, as they were coming into the upper room, they were having an argument. Who was going to be on Jesus' right hand and who would be on Jesus' left hand when he came into power in his kingdom? It seems that they weren't too interested in being on the right hand of the cross or the left hand of the cross with Jesus. They wanted power. And as they were coming into the upper room, Jesus portrays what the kingdom of God is really going to be like as he wraps a towel around himself and he kneels and he washes the feet of each of the disciples as they come into the room. And what about Peter? Oh, he's one of our favorites to always blame for something. Peter would deny Jesus three times that very night before the rooster would crow. There was plenty of blame to go around in that upper room, but, but before, we, before we too easily cast that blame, Judas says this in that night at the table when Jesus says, one of you are going to betray me. Judas says, is it I? Is it I? As I think about Thursday night of Holy Week, Let's stop trying to be coy and go into Jesus and ask him, is it I? Have I betrayed you? We all have sinned. We have all fallen short. We have all, in one way or another, betrayed Jesus. Oh, let's stop, is it I? And let's start with, Jesus, it is I. I am to blame. I have betrayed you. I have sinned and I need the forgiveness and your work of sacrifice on the cross. I need that, Jesus. I need forgiveness. Tonight, will we stop with the, is it I? And let's boldly say, Jesus, it is I. Please forgive me.